Yesu. Yesu. Amen. 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 Leave. You spirit of death, leave. So I'm going to start with something that is very shocking to all of you. As we do readdressing of imbalance. In Africa. Africa. Moses, Musa, listen, if you are born in, in Kenya, Kenya and your parents came from Uganda, na wazazi waka Uganda and they came to Kenya, Kenya and uh, they, they, they produced wakaza, and then those who produce produced na wakaza na kuendelea, for 400 years miaka, to believe in the God of Abraham the God Abraham, of the Jews Mungu wa but Moses is an African Musa ni he was adapted by an African queen Alichukuliwa na mfalme they Afrika. even gave him an African name Wakampatia jina la Moses is not a Hebrew name Mus, dina Musa si la Moses a name is a name of Egyptian dina Musa na li, ni la you are not ready for me Amuko tayari kwa sababu yangu. Moses Jina Musa is an Egyptian name Jina because Misri. the daughter of Pharaoh pulled Pharaoh. him out of the water and she said Akasema, they will call you Moses Musa. because I got you out of the Mama water. Moses Musa was given a task to go and deliver his people out of bondage. And Moses. Na Musa, delivered them. He tried to do the natural way. Kia, kia, kia fight and sin. kill them. Ua, fight and kill them. Ua, ua, Instead ua they chased him out. Badala, ya hiyo, he found God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, which you have found already. Our God is a God of deliverance. Our God is a God who makes a way where there is no way. Our God is a God of redemption. Our God is a God of provision. He said to Moses, I am making you not just a member of the African society to go and break the yokes on, upon Moses my people. But I'm making you a God. I am making you a God before Pharaoh. We are going to become gods before the situation. Moses Musa goes and delivers them. But then he has a problem. God takes them Take them to the land. Between Egypt, Misri, where there is food, chakula, and Canaan, na kanani, where there are grapes, kuna, where there is food, kuna chakula, there is a desert. Kuna hapa nyika, jangwa. And for 40 years, kwa karbani, you can't grow anything in a desert. But Moses Musa, provided a five-star lifestyle. Akapeana kitu cha hali ya juu to the Hebrews akapatia chakula wanafanya star living maisha ya juu these people had a, a canopy over them it was air conditioned ah watu walikuwa nafunikwa na wingu the sun never scorched them na jua halikuwa piga they ate the bread of angels wakakula chakumu kata and it was not frozen bread na ijaoza it was fresh bread every morning ilikuwa ni Heaven was raining bread into the people of God. There was a rock that followed them and gave them water. Every night they had a pillar of fire to light their houses. You are not hearing what I'm talking about. And the Bible says, nobody was feeble. Nobody was sick. Nobody miscarried. Nobody was dying. Everybody was alive. Their clothes were not tearing. Their shoes were not breaking. If Moses could feed two million people and take care of them, their medicine 
dawa. their health, Afia. their food, Chakula. and they had money by the way in their pockets. Na walikuwa na pesa kwa mifuko yao. And money was not for food. Na pesa ilikuwa chakula. How can we? Na je sisi? Uganda. Waganda, Kenya. Wa Kenya. Rwanda. Wa Rwanda. Congo. Wa Congo. When we are living in the land of great lakes. Tukiishi kwenye nchi ya mito mingi. Fresh water. Maji masafi. How can we have people starving to death? Inawezekanaje watu wakufa njaa katika nchi kama hiyo? How can we? Inawezekana people who live in this region. Watu wanaishi katika eneo hili. With all universities. Katika vyo vikuu vingi. With faculties of agriculture. Ambayo iko na vitengo vya kilimo. Fail to produce food. Kushindwa kuzalisha chakula. Maize and beans is a 3 month crop. Mahindi na maharagwe ni ya kumea kwa miezi mitatu. It's not a five year crop. Sio mmea wa miaka 5. It is a three months crop. Ni mmea wa miezi mitatu tu. How can we have a church like we have in Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, all of you? Tunasaja kuwa na kanisa kama la Kenya, la Uganda, Rwanda, sisi zote. And we have people starving today. Na watu wanakufa njaa. Where is the anointing of resurrecting the dead? Wapi upakwa kufufua wafu? You are not ready for me. Amuko tayari kwangu. And we have the anointing to command the clouds. Na tuko na upako wa kuamuru mawingu to move rain from Indian Ocean to come to Kenya. Kuleta mvua katika bahari kutoka bahari la Hindi kuja Kenya. What is the anointing for? Wao upako ni nini? When situations were not changing in Israel. Kama hali haikuwa imebadilika Israel. When sin was everywhere and witchcraft in the days of Ahab. Wakati wa Ahab kulikuwa na Elijah used the rain. Elia akatumia mvua. To bring Israel back to common sense. Kurejesha Israeli wajirudie. What is your anointing for? Upako wako ni nini? If it cannot affect weather. Kama iwezi lete mguzo katika anga. Do you know that weather is a creature? Amujui anga ni kiumbe. And the Bible say every knee shall bow Habila and sama, every tongue will confess. Bila sema kila godi litapigwa na kila ulimi utakiri. Elijah say Israel no rain three years. Elia kasema miaka mitatu hakuna mvua Israel. Until you come back to your senses. Hadi mujirudie. Do you know how rain is made? Unajua mvua inafanywaje? Do you know how they make rain? Something that they always passes through Africa. In fact it passes through Uganda and Kenya. It's called the sun. Through the equator. It passes here every day. And it goes to the Indian Ocean. And its rays burn the water. Na inaweka hapa kwa maji. And the steam rises up. Alafu umanda huwa unaiuka. And it forms rain. Na inatengeneza mvua. So before the rain come to Kenya. Kabla mvua kuja Kenya. And come to Uganda. Ama kuja Uganda. It is formulated in the sea. Inatengenezwa kwa bahari. In the lake, in the ocean. Katika bahari, katika Then the wind brings it here. Alafu upepo unatuleta hapa. The Bible said. Biblia kasema. And they said of Jesus. Wakasema kumhusu Yesu. Even the wind obey him. Hata upepo unamsikia. You are not ready for me. Hamko tayari kwa sababu. I say you are not ready for me. Nasema ni kama hamko tayari. What is the purpose of your anointing? Makusudi ya upako wenu ni nini? If you can't control weather. Kama uwezi shughulikia anga. Na kut What is the purpose of your anointing? Shukul kas upako wako ni kasi gani? Listen. Excuse me. It was food ni chakula that made Adam and Eve fall. Ilitofanya Adam na Hawa kuanguka. Food chakula 
in the wilderness Jangwani. it was food ni chakula that was going to destroy the government of moses ndio ilienda kuharibu serikali ya musa chakula it was food ni chakula that the devil tempted jesus with the first temptation ambao shetani alimjaribu yeso na and when Jesus was leaving he said to Simon Peter feed my flock lisha wana kondo wangu the number one job he gave Simon Peter kazi ya kwanza alimpatia was not to cast out devils petro si kutoa mapepo feed my Lisha watu wangu. Feed my people. Lisha watu wangu. How can Moses? Ye Musa do it so good. Anawezaje kufanya vyema? So good. Vyema in a desert. Katika jangwa. And we na sisi who are not in a desert. Ambao hatuko katika jangwa. Our children have nothing to eat. Watoto hawana kitu cha kula. If we stand in heaven today, leo tukisimama mbinguni, and Jesus split the eastern sky. Na Yesu and he returns today. Arudi leo. And everybody brings what they have done. Na kila mtu aleta kila amefanya. In their days and time and season. Katika nyakati zao na majira yao. What will I present? Ni nini nitapeana? readdressing the imbalance kushughulikia kutokuwa na usawa our forefathers baba zetu tried walijaribu post colonial wakati wakati wa after colonial baada ya utawala we have blamed the wrong person na sasa tumelaumu mtu ambaye sio sie we have we are africa still blaming colonialists wa africa bado tuna walaumu wale walio tu We are still blaming the the British the, whatever they are. But let's face the real situation. Because we have blamed them for every problem we have. Africa is not 70 year old. Africa is over 3000 BC. Afrika ni zaidi ya miaka elfu tatu kabla Kristo kuzaliwa 3000 before Jesus came Kabla Kristo kuja there was Ethiopia Kulikuwa na Kush there was Egypt Kulikuwa na Misri No no you're not hearing what I'm talking about Sio kama mnasikia kila sema 3000 BC Miaka elfu tatu kabla Kristo kuja God speaks to Abraham Mungu akasungumzia Abraham. And Abraham, na Abraham goes to Egypt. Anaenda Misri. And he found a system. Na anapata mfumo like he has never seen anywhere. Ambao haijai onekana popote. Do you know the purpose of Africa in a way? Mnajua makusudi ya Afrika kweli. We are here to multiply Israel. Tuko hapa kuongeza kupiga mara Israel. Oh, you didn't hear. Africa's creation umbaji wa kwa Mungu is to multiply and grow Israel. Ni kuongeza Israel. We are the one to bless Israel. Sisi ndio tunabariki Israel. You don't need to talk to listen to what I'm saying. Sija kama mnasikia kile ninasema. When Abraham God spoke to him. Wakati Mungu alimwongelea Abraham. That I'm going to create a new nation. Nitatafanya taifa. The nation of Israel. Taifa la Israel. And you will be able na to bring forth the Messiah. Kuleta Messiah. Because everything God does. Kwa sababu kila kitu Mungu anafanya. Does it into duo. Anafanya kwa upacha ama uwe. The word and the spirit. Neno na roho. Heaven and earth. Bingu na nchi. A man and a woman. God is a God of partnership. Mungu ni Mungu wa kushirikiana. Mungu ni Mungu wa shirika. Whatever he does. Chochote anachofanya. He does it in two two. Anafanya kwa upacha. Just in case the other one fail. The other one will pull him. Ingine itashikilia. Am I talking to somebody? Naongelesha mtu. The government and the church. Serikali na kanisa. Pontius Pilate and Jesus. Pontius Pilato na Yesu. Pharaoh and Moses. Pharaoh na Musa. Pharaoh and Joseph. Pharaoh na Yusuf. Africa and Israel. Africa na Israel. You are not hearing from me. Kama mnasikia vile nasema. So what happened? Ni nini kilifanyika? To Africa. The devil has told you. Just look at post 
pre-colonial. No, no, no. Pre-independence. Those people did whatever they did. The Mzei Jomo Kenyatta, we salute to them. We honor them. The Mwarimu Julius Nyerere, we salute to them. The Kwame Nkurumas, we salute to them. But what they left undone is 99.5 percent and this generation must address it let me also give you another shocker let me give you another shocker how comes that everybody because you're talking about Africans we are taken as slaves to America so Americans are the ones who enslaved us the British enslaved us took our people let me also address that one everybody according to the Bible who has ever been taken to slavery they ended up taking over those countries all of them why didn't the black take over America? Why didn't the black take over Europe? I'm going to tell you the reason why. Joseph was taken as a slave into Egypt. Guess what happened? Guess what happened? Joseph took over Egypt. You want me to give you more? Daniel, Sadrach, Meshach, Abednego, they were taken. They ended up winning. Wow. Jesus was sent here as our slave. He carried our sins. He carried our iniquity. He carried our cross. Jesus, the Son of God, we hold him hostage. We killed him. But on the third day, he rose again. Wow! Jesus was sent Why only the Africans? Whether it's Joseph, whether it's Daniel, whether it's Jesus, all of them, whether Esther, the reason why they took over, they had a God. When Africans were taken from here, they had witchcraft. And the witchcraft of those countries was stronger than ours. Because the lizard in Africa, when you take it to America, it does not become a crocodile. A lizard in Africa. Africa. When you take it to America, it America. does not become a crocodile. When you don't have a living God, anybody will make you a slave. But even the African American in the United States will tell you what broke the bondage of their lives was the Negro spirituals. When they began to worship in the cotton plantations, when they began to look to a living God, the chains of their enemy begin to break one by one. Number one solution for Africa is to come back to a living God. Let me give you another shocker. Are you still my friends? Sit down. Get in. What was the problem of Africa? Shida wa Africa ilikuwa ni My president. Yoel Museveni. Yoel Museveni. Do let us see that. 
Why Africa was colonized? Why Africans were taken as slaves? Not colonized, but taken as slaves. That is 500 years ago. Was because of our weak leaders. And let me tell you, Kenya. When you have weak leaders, you will pay for another 40 years. The weakness of African leaders. And I'm not only talking about politicians. I'm talking about even the church. I'm also talking about the business community. Because one of the problems in business. Africa has failed to create capital. 70 years in independence Africa is still heavily borrowing a borrower is a slave to a lender no African country can loan another African country okay let me bring it down, let me bring it down for a national level and I bring it to the church if there is an opportunity for you to buy that building which the devil has been using as a bar as a brothel as an alcoholic center in your area whether Nakuru or Kakamega or whatever in, in, in Nairobi is there a church where you can go and tell them this is for the kingdom can you give me a loan why do we always want to fulfill bad prophecy? Why do we always want to fulfill wrong predictions? The church in Africa is as poor as a church's mouth. mouth. Who told you that the church is supposed to be poor like a mouse? We even quote things that are bringing a curse on us. What happened to women? Three thousand BC. Women in Africa were queens. Wamama wa Africa falme. Malikia. Bring another one. I have to go through Africa, I'm telling you. Queen Sheba. Uh, Malkia Sheba. Queen Sheba. Malkia Sheba. She had enough money. Alikuwa na and the Bible zaptosha. say her convoy na sema magari yake. was from Egypt to Israel. Ilikuwa kutoka Misiri adi Israeli. Her convoy. Magari yake. Msafara wake. What happened kilifanyika to Africa of wa those Africa days? Wa wakati ule. Egypt fed the whole world. Misiri li By the mzima. way, in the days of Joseph and wa, Pharaoh, wa, eleo, kwamba siku za Africa is the Pharaoh. one who started the world, the International Monetary Fund World Bank. Africa ndio ikaanzisha benki ya dunia. Because all the money from Canaan, the Bible say, and from Egypt, and the whole world ended up in Egypt. Kwa sababu ela zote za dunia zilielekea kule misiri. And they did not sell ivory. Na wakuuza pembe za ngozi. Joseph did not sell ivory. Yusuf wakuuza pembe. He did not sell gold. Akuuza dhaabu. He did not sell oil. Akuuza mafuta. He sold maize. Aliuza maindi. And all the money came to him. What's wrong with African leaders? What's wrong with African leaders? You mean if you, if you mobilize innocent young people who are energetic and you tell them Go on the street. Demonstrate. Burn businesses. And burn roads. You think you're going to feed them?
You think you are solving in colonialism. Actually they help you give you a language. And they give you suits to wear. Instead of praising them for helping you. Badala. Educating you. Showing you medicine. Which you had. Badala ya kuwafsifu. Kwa kuwaelimisha. Kuwaonyesha madawa. Kuwapatia njia zingine za kujinufaisha. Ambazo pia mulikuwa nazo. The Africans. Wa Afrika. Of the days of Joseph. Wa siku za Yusufu. They build pyramids. Walichenga zile minara ya misiri. For they are dead. Kwa wafu wao. Not for them to live in. Sio eti wa ishindani. For they are bed. Kwa wafu wao. They had the science. Walikuwa na science. To embalm the dead body. Ya njia za kweta na maiti. Even today. Adi leo. Six thousand years later. Ya kalfu sita badai. We found the mummies. Tunapata. The mummies. The mummies. Tunapata hizo mummies. Walio zikwa. Might is out. Come in. You? Get in. Miaka nyingi baadae, might is out, bado zipo, kwenye minara, walio jenga zamani. Now, our generation has copied the shape of the pyramids. Kime iga mifano ya minara hiyo. That's where we live today. In thatched grass houses. Katika nyumba za nyasi na matope. Ziko na muundo wa minara ya misri ya mboe likuwa ni ya maiti. And we think we've developed. Anafikiri hati tumeendelea tuko na ukisasa. What happened to Africa? Africa kulitendeka nini jameni? The Bible said when Moses led the children of Israel out of Egypt Musa alipotoa Israeli kutoka Misri and they walked na wakatoka for many days kwa siku nyingi Pharaoh followed them Farao akawafuata with chariots na mafarasi chariots magari ya mafarasi you don't drive chariots in jungles sasa bwana magari ya mafarasi ya uende si jangwani Africa Africa had wheels Kulikuwa na magurudumu 3000 BC Hey, miaka elfu tatu kabla Which means Africa had roads Mwansi ya ba Africa kulikuwa na barabara I'm sorry I'm talking to you Language is failing me Ah, luge me nipungukia Barabara zilikuwepo Africa zamani The Bible talks about the Ethiopian eunuch That is 2000 years ago Miaka F.B. liopita He had his own chariot Alikuwa na mafarasi yake magari Akida wa kithiopia What happened to Africa? Kulifanyika nini Africa jameni? You don't drive a chariot in a jungle. Uende shigari ya farasi jangwani. And the Bible said, the Ethiopian eunuch yule akido Ethiopia was linguistic. Alikuwa na ufasaa wa luga because he was reading the book of prophet Isaiah. Alikuwa na choa na soma chuo cha nabi Isaiah. And the books of the Bible were written in Hebrew. Na vikwa meandiku atika luga ya kiwe kaniya. So this Ethiopian eunuch hivyo basi akida huyu knew how to read Hebrew. Akida huyu alijua kusoma kiwe kaniya. Two thousand years ago and here I am from Uganda I can't speak Swahili I have our reasons why we don't speak Swahili we hear it we don't talk it because of Idi Amin it was a deliberate effort because I mean soldiers we are thieves. We are killers. They could come and say, hey, toa pesa. Kakini. Beating people in Swahili. So all Ugandans are greed. You start speaking Swahili. You are a thief. Wewe ni muizi jambazi. Hey. Ukona miliki ya kiidi ya mini wewe. You are a thief. Wewe ni muizi. But listen to this. Child of God. 
mtoto wa Mungu what happened to Africa Afrika kulifanyika nini Because we thought independence tulifikiria kwamba uhuru was the answer ati ni jibu and we got it na tukapata uhuru ndio Uganda got independence in 1962. Walipata 62 Uganda uhuru wao. Kenya 1963. Kenya 63 mwaka. Isn't it? Eh? Uhuru wao. Isn't it? Si ndio. In 1963, mwaka 63, Singapore. Singapore got also independence. Nao pia walipata uhuru wao. Compare the two countries. Wewe linganisha Kenya na Singapore leo. Hebu linganisha What happened to Africa? Tulikosea wapi Afrika jameni? Since the colonials left Africa, tangu wakoloni walipo. It's now 70 years. Ni sasa miaka 70 imepita. Israel as a country was no more. Israel kama taifa halikuwepo. 2000 years ago Israel stopped being a country. Miaka mbele mbele imepita Israel ilikoma kuwa taifa. It ceased being a country. Ikakoma kuwa nchi ama taifa Israel. Miaka 2000 iliyopita. It only became a country in 1948. Ilifanyika nchi tu mwaka wa 48. See where Israel is. Angalia mahali walipo leo Israel and where Africa is. Hapo linganisha Afrika iko wapi? Israel is in a semi desert continent. Yaani Israel ni, ni mahali jangwa Israel. And see where we are. Hebu angalia mahali tulipo sisi. Day, yesterday it was raining. Jana kulinyesha mvua kabisa. It rains in leaps and bounds. Kuna nyesha mvua nyingi. Tell the person next to you. Ambia jirani yako hivi. Say what happened to you? Muulize wewe ulikosea wapi ndugu yangu? Come on, ask the person next to you. Wewe muulize. What happened to you? Muulize kuliendaje? Because you are the church. Kwa maana wewe ni You are Africa. Wewe ni mwana. You are the people. Wewe ndio watu. What happened to you? Kulifanyikaje kwako kuliendaje? It is so funny. I don't know whether there is a man here or a woman here from Tanzania. Hapo kuna mwanaume hapa ama mwanamke kutoka Tanzania? Come here. Hebu kuja hapa mtanzania. Do we have anybody here from Uganda? Kuna Uganda hapa? Apart from me. Wacha mtumishi wa Bwana. One person get to Uganda. Mmoja wa Uganda aje Tanzania. Get up, get up lady. Harakisha binti jo, mwanamke jo. Let me see a Rwandis if there is a Rwandis kuna, person here. Kama kuna Mrwanda pia njoo hapa. Get up here, Burundi. Come ama, here. Ama wa Burundi, kuja. Burundi, Mrwanda njoo. Let me see if there is anybody here from uh, Nigeria. Kuna Nigeria hapa. Or West Africa, any country. Eh, hey, ama mataifa yale ya kule Afrika Mashariki. In a South African who is white. Magaribi, Because we have got white South Africans and black South Africans. Hey, hata I told you if someone has been born here. Hapa, and his great grandparents. Na babu zake wa zamani, came from Holland. And Holland, they live in East West Africa. Wakaishi, or South Africa. Africa and they have been kusini, there for 40 years. They have been bindi, there for 100 years. Mia, now you are fighting them because they are white. Atuna kwamba ni watu wa What's Africa? wrong with Africa? Africa And yet we Africans. Na sisi wa Africa, we are moving in Europe in America. Tunahamia America na Europe. Become citizens there. Kufanyika maraia huko. Hey. Now look at all this. Hebu angalia hao wote hapa. Rwanda, Rwanda, Burundi, Burundi, Tanzania. Tanzania. You tell me. Hebu niambie. If these people arrived in London. Hao watu kama wangekuwa kule London. What do they see? Wanaona nini? What do they see? Wanaona nini wakifika kule London? They see Africa. Wanaona Afrika. Until these Africans begin to tell them me I'm Tanzania. Hadi waanze kuambiana hapana, mimi ni Mkenya, Mrwanda, Mtanzania. Let me say it again. Hebu niseme tena. Wherever they go Popote wanaenda you represent Africa Munawakilisha Africa you represent the black people Unakuta watu weusi It is only when you arrive Ni wakati unafika tu and you start telling us Unaanza kutuambia Mimi am Tanzania Ati oh mimi ni Mtanzania Mimi am Uganda Oh mimi ni Mganda Look at Africa Angalia Afrika hapa If one of them steals Mmoja wao akiiba 
We, mmoja wa akiiba. If one succeeds, mmoja wa akifanikiwa je? One of the biggest problem of Africa. Moja wapo wa shida kubwa kabisa Africa. We try to unite instead of being one. Bana kuungana pamoja tuwe kitu kimoja. To unite kuungana pamoja means we have to agree ni kwa mazima tukubaliane on certain things. Kuhusu mambo fulani. This is what we will do. Tutafanya hii. This is what you're going to be. Tutakuwa hivi. This is what you have to say. Tutasema haya. God does not create that. Mungu haombi hayo. God give gifts. Mungu anapeana karama. Some apostles, wengine mitume, some teachers, wengine walimu, some pastors. Wengine wachungaji. Why doesn't he give it to you all together? Mbona kupatii kijumla kifurushi kizima za mmoja? God is not a cake maker. Mungu apikangi keki, si mpishi wa keki. God is a bread maker. Mungu upika mkate, si keki. Thank you Africa. Asante ni Africa. So what is the problem? Mashide kwa wapi basi? The president said, Raisi akasema, weak leaders. Number two, intrigue. Number three, lack of established defense mechanism. Kutokuwa na ulinzi ambao medipitika. 400 years ago miaka miaini ambayo imepita my president said it was only mosquitoes and forests that guarded africa alikuwa anasema kwamba huko afrika ati ni umbu tu ambao wanalinda afrika na misitu wanyama and wild animals na wanyama wa porini but africans didn't have any mechanism of defense kini afrika wakuwa na na, na usalama wao vyombo vya usalama that has Kila. not changed haijabadilika bado I see children of Africa climbing onto boats trying to sneak into Europe because they think it's greener on the other side. Unaangalia watu wa Kiafrika wakijaribu kuenda kuingia kule ngambo wanaingia meli. years ago Africans were taken to slavery. Miaka 200 ambayo ilipita. With the help of our African leaders by the way. Walifanyikwa watumwa kupitia viongozi wa Kiafrika because this tribe could attack another tribe to sell as slaves. Kwa maana hii kabila ingefanya kabila lingine na wale wanawauza kama watumwa. Instead of building together. Wanawasaliti badala kujengana tu. That is our history. Historia yetu ndio hiyo. But we don't want to talk about it. Lakini gumzo hiyo hatutaki. That we facilitated slavery. Ya kwamba tulisaidia kwenye shughuli za utumwa. We facilitated it. Eh tulisaidia katika utumwa. Way, whatever you sow is what you reap. Kila ambacho unapanda ndicho unavuna. We, we put Jews under slavery. Eh tuliufanya wayahudi wakawa watumwa. Whatever you sow, kila ambacho upandacho ndicho uvunacho. We put them under slavery for 400 years. Tukawafanya wayahudi wakawa watumwa miaka 400. We were put under 400 years. Nasi pia miaka 400 tukavuna kama watumwa. But what surprised me? Nacho shangaza ni kwamba is that they stayed for another 30 more years. Ati ni kwamba waliongezea miaka ingine 30 juu. Why 30 more? Kwa nini zaidi 30? Raise your hand. Nyosha mkono wako. Say today. Sema today. I'm coming out of this foolishness. I'm coming out of this foolishness. I'm coming out of this bondage. Coming out of this. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The solution for Africa is not another political party. Jibu la Afrika si chama kingine cha siasa. Is a real God. Ni Mungu wa kweli. Is a God of anointing. Is a God of grace. Is a God of love. Is a God of power. Mungu wa nguvu. Because he wants to make you the head and not the tail. Angependa uwe kichwa wala si mkia. He say you will lend and never borrow. Anasema utakopa, utakopesha, utakopa. So we have to readdress the imbalance. Lazima tushughulikie kutokuwa na usawa. And how do we do it? Kwa njia gani? Number 1. Njia ya kwanza. We find a real God. Tunapata Mungu wa kweli. And that is God Almighty through Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit. Number two, we begin to understand that revolutions are never imported. It is homegrown. It is homegrown. What is going to free Kenya is going to come from Kenya. Kitakachoweka Kenya huru kitatoka hapa Kenya tu. Wala si ngambo. Number 
Alama ya pili, we ya must tatu. believe in biblical economics. Lazima tukae katika masuala ya kiuchumi ya kibiblia. Our God is capable of creating something out of nothing. Mungu wetu anaweza umba kitu kutoka mahali hakuna kitu. And always he gives you power to use what you have to create what you don't have. Anakupa nguvu wakati wote wa kuumba kile ambacho huna. Number 3. Alama ya ta, alama ya 4. Number 4. Alama ya 4. We need faith. Tunahitaji imani. We need faith. Tunahitaji imani. Which comes from the word of God. Imani itokayo kwa neno lake Mungu. Faith will help us create the capital we are looking for. Itatusaidia tupate mtaji ambao tunaitaka. Everybody that I know. Kila mtu ambaye namfahamu. Who has prospered? Ambaye amefanikiwa. Who has served God? Ametumikia Mungu. Our story is the same. Visa vyetu vinafanana tu. We were nothing. Tulikuwa sisi bure before Jesus came. Bele ya Yesu kabla Yesu aje tulikuwa bure. Even if you haven't reached anywhere. Kama hujafika mahali sana. Significant but you are somewhere. Mahali kwa umakini bado uko mahali umeelekea tayari. All of us accept. Sote tunakubali. It was not a man. Ya kwamba si mwanadamu. It has been the grace of God. Imechukua neema ya Bwana peke yake kufika mahali umefika leo. If your president can come from being a hustler to a president. Kama rais wewe anaweza kuwa hustler na anakuwa rais leo. Then you basi wewe who is a believer ambaye ni muamini you are about to become the next billionaire in Kenya umekaribia kufanyika billionaire mwingine Kenya hapa number 5 alama what africa has to do ya tano ya pasayo africa we need to change the conversation tubadilishe gumzo we need oneness tunahitaji umoja brother you are my brother kaka mimi kaka yako not because you are black but because you believe in god even if listen hata kama sikia this man come here this man is also your my my my, my real brother pia ni ndugu yangu wa kweli same mother same father baba moja mama moja but if he chooses lakini akiamua to be a witch kuwa mchawi you are my brother bado mimi ni ndugu yako than he is kuliko Number seven. Alama ya saba. What is going to free Africa? Kitaka choweka Africa huru. Is the anointing. Ni upako. Of the Holy Spirit. Upako wa roo mtakatifu. Not religion. Si dini. Thank God religion has done what it can. Kubwana dini mefanya kazi yake tayari. We need more. Tuwa itaji zaidi kuliko dini. We need more. Tuwa itaji zaidi. We need more. Tuwa itaji. Zaidi kuliko we need more. Nasema tunahitaji zaidi. We need more. Tunahitaji zaidi. The anointing turned a fisherman into an apostle. Upako kamgeuza mvua samaki akawa mtume. The anointing Upako of the Holy Spirit empowered non-educated uneducated people. Ukamtia nguvu watu ambao hawajaelimika. The Bible said they overturned the world. Hawajabukua mabuku na wakageuza dunia. One of the greatest challenge we have. Moja wapo changamoto kubwa ambazo tuko nazo. Is that we have never seen ni kwamba hatujawaiona We have testimonies in our churches. Tuna ushuhuda nyingi makanisani ndio. And we don't share those. Na hatushiriki hizo. Why will Jesus? Kwa nini Yesu call a medical doctor? Aite daktari wa matibabu on his team. Katika kundi lake. A tax collector. Akaita mtu za ushuru pia on his team. Katika kundi lake a thief Mwizi. on his team akawa pia pale moja wapo why kwa nini aliita hao There is something we need to learn from Jesus. Kuna jambo tunafaa kujifunza kutoka kwa Yesu. Let me finish with this. Hebu nitamatishe na jambo hili. What is the role of Africa? Ah, uh, wajibu wa Afrika ni nini? God 
build Africa first before he could raise Israel. Mungu alijenga Afrika kwanza kabla ainue Israeli. So that Africa will finance and help Israel. Ili Afrika ikafadhili na ikasaidie Israeli. That's what Satan hates Africa so much. Ndio shetani anachukia Afrika sana to slap up with all kinds of confusion. Na analeta na makofi ya machanganiko mengi. You see it throughout the life of Africa. Mm, anaondoa uzima na uhai wa Afrika. Where the Queen Sheba Ah, Maliki Sheba, where the Pharaoh, even the Pharaoh, they were all supporting Israel. Wote walikuwa wanasaidia Israel. When Jesus had nowhere to run to, yes, walipokosa maficho, he ran to Africa. Alikimbilia wapi? Africa. When Jesus was tired of carrying the cross, yes, walipochoka kubeba msalaba mzito, he turned to Africa. Aligeukia Africa. If Africa does not find herself Africa in the Holy Scriptures, it will be difficult for you to live your life. Because you complained about the Arabs. And the European came. Eh? Now, now. And you complain about the European. Now the Chinese are here. And you are complaining. What are you waiting for? Africa needs the Holy Spirit. Africa ya itaji roo mtakatifu. King David... Mfalme Daudi na malizia na jambo hili had many anointings. Daudi alikuwa na upako nyingi. In Psalms 72 katika zaburi sabini na mbili he didn't know what son is gonna be king. Hakujua mwana waki atafanyika nini. I don't know why this happens to people of God. Siko nini nafanyikia sana hivyo watu wa mungu. Sometimes we don't even know who is gonna Take over the church before you die. Sengine hata ujui. When you die. Atakai chukulia uongozi wa kanisa. You don't even know who is can lead the family. Nani ambaya naza kuongoza familia. When you are not here. Wakati ya uko. Aujui nani. We are surprised by everybody who comes up. Tunashanga atula ambaya maachua uongozi. That's why Africa will never stop having orphans. Ndiyo Africa haita kosa kuwa na mayachua. You want to tell me that the Americans don't die young and leave children? Na kuna ambia wa Amerika wakufi mapema na wanawacha watoto? You want to tell me? Wata kuniambia? That in Africa we are the one who produce children who are entitled, who are destined to be orphans. Africa ndiyo tunazanga watoto ambao ati hatima yao na mpango wa kimaisha ni kuwa mayatima tu. How comes that when they lose their parents in America, in Canada, in Singapore, they don't open up orphanages. Wana wafungui manyumba ya watu mayatima yatima kama huku. Every charity organization Kila shirika la kusaidia Is about orphans Ni kuhusu Saidia mayatima You go on BBC, CNN When they are doing advertising Of helping the poor Wakitangaza njia kusaidia masikini They don't put their children there Awaweki watoto wa wazungu hapa They use the image of African people Wanatumia picha ya wa Afrika With flies in their eyes Wakona inzi kwenye macho you want to tell me there's no people here? Wata kuneambia hapa hakuna watu. There are no Africans here. Yani hakuna wa Afrika hapa. Who can adapt those children? Waneza chukua watoto hao. How can someone in America be passionate about an African kid? Yani hati mzungu wa Amerika. And loves them enough. Anashikuwa na Afrika na uliza kulifanyika nini? Someone in France. Mtu wakio Faransa. Cares for an African kid. Anamjali mtoto wa ki Afrika. And out of his little salary, na katika mshara wake mdogo, he gives money. Anatoa pesa every month. Kila mwezi to an African. Anashugulikia who runs an orphanage. Ambaye akona nyumba ya watoto watima to feed his kid. Ati ndio akalisha watoto wake. Do you know that's what happened to the mother Moses? Na juu mwa wake Musa kuli fanya kahivyo. 
I told you Moses is African. Nilikwambia Musa ni Mwafrika. The daughter of Pharaoh. Binti wa Farao. Paid mama Moses. Alilipa mama yake Musa to raise her own child. Amkuze mtoto wake mwenyewe. Amlee. What happened to Africa? Africa kulifanyika nini jameni? Where is the heart for Africa? Moyo wa Afrika uko wapi? The heart that could receive the Hebrews. Moyo ambao ungepokea wa Ibrania. When they came they had no food. Walipokuja chakula hawana. The hospitality that received Jesus. Ukarimu ambao ulimpokea. What happened to Africa? Afrika kulifanyika nini? That now we are killing our own Africans. Sasa tunaua na wenyewe wa Africa. The war in Congo is not about Europe invading Africa. Vita vya Congo vya Europa hapana ni Africa. The war in Niger is not about Americans invading vya, Africa. Vita kule vya America inavamia Africa. The genocide in Rwanda. Hata mauaji ya Rwanda. Was African killing Africa? Walikuwa ni Waafrika wanaua Waafrika wenzao. What happened to you? Afrika kulifanyika nini jamani? What happened to you? Afrika kulifanyika nini? What happened to you? Afrika kulifanyika nini? What happened to you Africa? Nauliza Afrika kulienda. What happened to you? Afrika kulifanyika nini? Your demonstration in Kenya. Maandamano yenu hapa Kenya. You are not fighting Mau Mau wars against the whites. Amupigani vita na wazungu kimaumau kama zamani. You are setting yourself against yourself. Munapigana wenyewe kwa wenyewe. And what is the problem? Na shida ni nini? What happened to Africa? Afrika kulifanyika nini jameni? What happened to Africa? Afrika kulifanyika nini? Nauliza. Pastors preaching against pastors. Wachungaji wanaobiri kinyume as though they have their own Bible somewhere. Ni kama wana Biblia yao kivyao mahali fulani. What happened to Africa? Afrika kuliendaje? You think you are kikuyu? Mafikio ni mkikuyu? You think you are luo? Atiwe ni mjaluo? You are forgetting. Umesahau? You are all Sons of Noah. Nyote ni wana wa Nuhu. Your images of God. Ninyi wote ni mfano wa Mungu. What happened to Africa? Afrika kulifanyika nini? Because the church. Kwa maana kanisa refused being the church. Limekataa kuwa kanisa. The church of those people kanisa la watu hao who able to take over other countries ambao waliweza kuteka mataifa mengine wherever you take them mahali unawapeleka tu is because they discovered a living god ni kwa maana waligundua mungu aliye hai obama would not have been president obama angefanyika rais in the united states kule america if it was not his mother kama haingekuwa ni mama yake and grandfather na babu yake because they are believers kwa maana wao ni wakombozi the mother refused to release her son mama yake alikataa kumwachilia kijana wake to a kenyan man who didn't have a living god kwa mwanaume wa kikenya ambaye hakuwa na mungu aliye hai she said you may be the father biological nasema ndio wewe ndio baba umemzaa ndio this kid is american now lakini kijana huyu ni muamerika sasa he's going to believe my god na tamwambia ataamini mungu wangu si mungu father was a muslim eh kwa muislam that's why he got the name hussein ndio alitoa jina hussein but the mother said no mama akasema la i'm having my son nachukua kijana wangu huyu If the father had brought Barack Obama. Babake kama angemlea Barack Obama, he will be rearing goats right now. Leo angekuwa amevaa zile makanzu. He will be rearing goats now. Angekuwa amevaa kanzu. He will be rearing goats. Angekuwa amevaa ngozi. Angekuwa angekuwa anafuga mbuzi. Mwingine aje. I told you. Kwambia, we Ugandans understand Swahili. Sisi wa Uganda tuelewa Kiswahili. We just don't talk it. Tuiongee tu. We have our reasons. Na sababu zetu sisi. He will be rearing goats. 
Alikuwa anafuga buzi. There's nothing wrong with Kanzu. Hakuna shida mavazi. Kanzu is the national garment in Uganda. Kanzu so valiwa tu. Ni nzuri avaliwa kule Uganda ni sawa. Mothers. Mama of Africa where are you? Africa mko wapi? Where are you? Kwapi? Mother Teresa never produced a child. Mama Teresa kuleta mtoto. A woman called Mother Teresa never produced any child. Hakuza mtoto, Mama Teresa. But everybody called her mother. Lakini kila mtu akamuita mama. Mothers of Africa where are you? Mama wa Afrika uko wapi? Where are you? Uko wapi? What happened to Africa? Nini kilikufanyikia Afrika? David didn't know. Daudi hakujua. Where he is going to have a king? Mahali angekuwa na ufalme. He had a prophecy. Alikuwa na unabii that God will find a king in his family. Ya kwamba Mungu atapata nabii katika familia yake. Falme. So before he had Solomon. Lakini kabla mzee Sulemani. He prayed a prayer. Akaomba ombi because Absalom Man Absalom had disappointed him. Alikuwa amemkatiza tamaa. He had waged war. Alikuwa amekuwa mbaya. He had killed people of Israel. Alikuwa ameua watu wa Israeli. I want to show you the power of prayer. Nataka nikuonyeshe nguvu ya maombi. And then we are going to pray. Alafu tuombe. Psalms 72. Zaburi 72. This is before David met the mother of Solomon. Hii ni kabla tana na mama wa Sulaimani. And he prayed this prayer. Na kaomba ombi hili which I call prophetic projections ambao naita ombi la kinabii he prayed a prayer akaomba ombi that the heavens begin to reorganize ya kwamba bingu ikaanza kujilingana this evening siku ya leo we are going to pray a prayer tutaomba ombi that god will remove every enemy out of your future mungu atampa kila adui maishani yako that god will bring in great people in your house mungu ataleta watu wakuu ndani ya nyumba yako that your children will not matter sawa kora that your next level is waiting for you mungu kingine tako kakojea i am going to pray for somebody today naomba mtu leo that you meet greatness in your life ukutana na ukuu maishani that doors will open for you lango itakufungukia mr chairman that you will see what you have never seen before utaona kile ambacho uko na chama somebody shout hallelujah psalms 72 let me read it to you quickly kusomekwa haraka upesi this is a new bible i just got it before i came here bila mpya hii nikaipata kabla nifike huku because the other one was falling apart and by the way preachers if your bible is not falling apart it's your life that is falling apart uhubiri kama biblia yako hairuki wewe ndio unararuka psalm 72 zaburi 72 read look at this one quickly tazama he prays for his son kombea na wake and i'm going to go through quickly here because i'm i want to lead you because time is gone he said Give the king your judgment O God and your righteousness to the king's son. He will judge your people with righteousness and your poor with justice. The mountains will bring peace to the people and the little hills by righteousness he will bring justice to the poor of the people. He will save the children of the needy and will break in pieces the oppressor. They shall fear you as long as the sun and the moon endure. Throughout all generation he shall come down like rain upon the grass before mowing like shower showers that water the earth in his days he's praying for his son the righteous shall flourish are you hearing what i'm saying david is praying in, 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 in the day of my king my son who is going to be the king the righteous shall flourish therefore all of you are righteous people from today you're going to flourish you're going to prosper Tendelea. and he said an abundance of peace how many of you know in the days of solomon there was peace Siku za Suleimani, amani litanda. not because he was a man of peace so, kwa sabal, kwa mtu amani. no when david died Daudi and solomon became king Suleimani, mfalme, he killed people watu. he killed his own brothers zake. he killed them Aliwawa. 
the one who wanted to take a, a, a concubine of his, of his father, he killed him. The other one who had walked with, the, with, with his brother Adonijah, he killed him. Solomon is not a man of peace. But the father had prayed before he had him that the prayer begin to redirect Solomon. Our prayer this week is going to redirect Kenya. It's going to redirect your home. Somebody shout hallelujah. Glory to God. Let me go. Say my prayer is going to redirect everything right everything right in my family in my family that's what happened this woman came as a catcher as an usher because she was in the presence of god her son at home the spirit of mental illness left you are here today you are taking an anointing with you tonight at home Listen to this. I need to go quickly here, quickly, because the Holy Spirit is here. He has arrived. He said, "An abundance of peace until the moon is no more." <laughs> until the moon is no more. Child of God, if there's no moon, which means there is no more sun. And, and by the way, Africans, how can we have Lord shedding in Africa? I mean, Lord shedding energy, electricity. No energy. When we have the sun here. Why doesn't every house have a solar panel? Look at the person next to you. And say, what happened to you? You, you are still paying for, for electricity? When God gave you a free son, what happened to you? What happened to you? Okay, let's go quickly here. He shall have dominion also from sea to sea. From today, you are going to have dominion. You know, Africa, Africa is between the Indian Ocean, Mediterranean Sea, and, and, and Atlantic Ocean. So from Mombasa to Lagos, from Cairo to Joba, you are going to be in dominion. Somebody say something, hallelujah. To assemble, hallelujah. And from Australia, Na Australia to Hawaii, Hawaii, you will be in dominion. Utatawala. Oh, come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Bona, hallelujah. Those who dwell in the wilderness will bow before him. And his enemies will lick the dust. His enemies will lick the dust. The dust is the food of the serpent. You didn't hear what I just said. In other words, your enemies and the enemies of Africa three. Three. Look at the person next to you. He said, are you one of the three? Come on, ask him again. Say, are you one of the three? Enemy number one Wakwansa. is ignorance. Nikutotua. Enemy number two Wapili. is disease. Nimagonzo. Enemy number three Watatu. is poverty. Nimaskini. They are going to eat the dust. Watalamba mafumpi. They are going to eat the dust. What a ramba ramba they are going to eat the dust. What a ramba the devil is going to eat the dust. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Your enemies are going to be witching you are going to be treated like Satan. <laughs> they are under your feet. Come on, somebody step them.
In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Then he said, Kasema, listen to these people of God. Sikia watu wa Mungu. Verse 10. Stari wa kumi. The kings of Tarshish, falme wa Tarshish and of Ios. Abisiwa wale will bring presents. Watakuleta ya kodi. And the kings of Sheba na pia falme wa Sheba and Seba. Na Seba will bring their gifts. Watai vi power. David. Daudi. Aliomba. David prayed. Daudi aliomba. And prophesied. Na katapiri. Who will bring gift to his son? Ni nani atamleta watoto vi power? He prophesied Sheba. Alitapiri Sheba. Before Solomon was born. Ata kabla Suleimani azali. And lo and behold. Ata zama. When Solomon came to the kingdom. Suleimani alipuinga ko falme. Queen Sheba had to come. Falme Sheba kafika. Your prayer today. Mambi yako leo. Is gonna prophetically project your destiny. Kwa katika. Is gonna determine who will come to you. It will determine what kind of people are coming your way. No more witches in your family. No more suffering in your home. Your children will not marry rumpets. You will not associate with the witch doctors. Failure will not be in your house. Your prayer this week is a prayer prophetically to direct your affairs. Hallelujah! 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 You are about to go where nobody has ever gone in your family. You are about to be the head and on the tail. They are coming. Billionaires are coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anointing is coming. Those whom you have never seen before. They are coming your way. Greatness is coming. Kenya's days are better tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. No calamities will befall you. No misguided leaders will ever come near you. May the God of Abraham. May God of Isaac. May God of Jacob. Be your God. Be your God. May your enemies eat the dust. May the glory of the Lord shine on you. May those who fight you fight themselves. May confusion fall into their camp. May the hand of Jehovah be upon you. May the sword of Gideon lead you. May it fall in the camp of your enemy. Poverty, sickness and disease will never come near your dwelling place. You will be associated with the righteous. Holiness will be like a garment on you. The Lord will take you from glory to glory to glory. The power of Almighty God will surround you. you will only be the head and on the tail. The favor of the Lord will be your rear guard. Blessings and prosperity will always be in your house. Sure, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And you will dwell in the house of the Lord. The God of Israel is your God. The anointing will always be on your head. You are the chosen generation. You are the royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. You will lend and never borrow. You will be the light of the world. Jesus.
Jesus will be glorified. Yesu Your descendants will be mighty on the earth. You will be known as the light of the world. Wherever you go, you will bring life to those who are dying. God will make his light shine. For the people who used to sit in darkness have seen a great light. Lift your hand and shout hallelujah seven times. Hallelujah. Seven times. Hallelujah. Tatu. Ne. Tano. Sita. Saba. Yeah. Woo. Marredo seta rebosa. Perara la paya. Marredo reboseta rebosa. Yera papa paya. Marredo reboseta rebosa. Yende repalataya. And I will serve no foreign gods, no any other treasure. Lift up your hand, everybody. For you are my heart's desire. The spirit without measure unto your name. I will bring my sacrifice and I will serve no foreign gods lift up your hands everybody no, no any other treasure for you are my heart's desire the spirit without measure unto your day I will bring my sacrifice. Lift your hands, saints. No, I'm unto I'm your name. I will bring my sacrifice. Tell the Lord, promise him you will not serve other gods. And I will serve no foreign gods. No any other treasure. For you are my heart's desire. The spirit without measure unto your name I will bring me sacrifice. Lift your hands, say Lord, I am your sacrifice. Say Lord, I am the sacrifice. I bring myself to you. I bring myself to you. Come on, dedicate yourself. Before the anointing comes, dedicate yourself. Dedicate yourself. Cry out to the Lord. Wherever you are, say, Lord, I present myself to you as a sacrifice. I present myself right now to you, my sacrifice. It is me. It is me. The sacrifice you've been looking for. It is me. Use me. I am a vessel. I am a vessel. Use me right now. I dedicate myself. If you've ever wanted to use Africa, here I am. If you have ever wanted to do something with anybody in Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Tanzania, France, America, Canada, Europe, here I am. I present myself. I present myself. I present myself. I present myself. Here I am, Lord. And here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. 
You're all together lovely, all together white, all together wonderful to me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Melt me, mold me, feel me, and use me, oh, Spirit of the living God fall afresh on me lift those hands up and tell them Spirit of the living God fall afresh on me use me Lord Spirit of the living God fall afresh on me build me mold me feel me use me oh spirit of God the living God fall afresh on me and sweet Holy Spirit pick it up pick it up sweet heavenly dove stay right here with us 